Hi, this is Tyler Lund with Veris Technologies. We're taking a look at a pH map that was made from a Veris on-the-go soil sensor on a field in Iowa, and we're going to compare it with a field, the same field, a uh, map made with a two and a half acre grid and see what was the payback? Was, was it worth that high resolution sampling? And so we'll take a look. Here's the Veris map. We see we've got low pH on the west side and in the south and even picked up some, some low pH here. And so what does a grid find? Well, we find a, a grid found similar patterns on the west side and the south and high pH along the road. So what well, we've got similar patterns when we look at the Lyme recommendations, is there much of a difference? Well, here's the Lyme recommendation from a two and a half acre grid. We can see that structure, man, that, that, there's some definition there. If your alternative was a blanket rate, this seems to be an improvement. So is there an advantage to doing varus liming? So we, you see that structure, we kind of bring it into focus when we switch over to the varus map. We just found some more areas that that didn't need it and a few areas that actually popped up that the grids missed and but to what to what effect is that to what how what degree is the difference and this next view helps us bring it into focus even more we see the transparent areas are where varus and grids they agree within about ten dollars and you see that there's some area there but there's a lot of green and that green is is money that is in the growers pocket because they used a varus map grids would have said we needed lime uh, in these green areas and we actually didn't with the high resolution pH sampling we were able to to find that that pH was sufficient and instead of uh, the sparse data with the two and a half acre grid and, and computer filling in we were able to find those areas don't need lime and the red areas are probably even more important those are areas that did need lime but the grids didn't catch them we're out there liming for a reason we expect a payback on that and so we want to find the low pH soils and we want to fix it and without that high resolution map, we would have missed those spots. And so we can see there's a significant savings out there. This is not news. Uh, we've seen a lot of government and, and university research that has found that this variability exists out there and found that the high resolution sampling does pay. We'd be happy to show how, you, how this works on your fields and other examples and share that research with you. So if you have any questions, if you want to see a, a, a private demonstration, Contact us below. We'll be happy to work with you on that. Thanks for watching.